So press wait for God. Press wait for God. I am a, when you get to him, tell him I'm a greedy angry. There are many things you are doing about me that I do not know. That what invite him to your prayers. He's not complained. A woman's child died. Eliza asked, Are you okay? Is there anything wrong? The woman said, It is well. He didn't say, You this false prophet. You are a very false prophet. Eliza might have run away from that point. <laughs> and the child would not have died and died, died, died. One of my friends went to a prayer mountain and began to sleep. And in Nigeria, if you are in a prayer mountain, this prayer mountain is only for men. Women cannot come because they don't want this. They say, If women come, the whole place is defined. So that my friend now got there, began to sleep. He's in the midst of his sleep. They say, throw away the witch. <laughs> He's a pastor. Four people, four heavy men carried him. <laughs> As four heavy men carried him and were going to throw him away. Well, he was waking up. He said, No, no, I'm not a witch. He said, You are a, if you are not a witch. <laughs> there was no way you could be sleeping if you are not a witch. I mean, look at somebody if they are not a witch. Yeah. Look. Are you, are you, are you, are you hearing what I'm saying? You invite God every morning. That's the reason why Jesus, they said, Jesus, how does your prayer get answered? Go there and I'll come back here. Go there. I'll quickly go there. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 10. How does your prayer get answered? It is the same principle to approach human beings. If you want to have a face-to-face -face encounter with God, it is the principle of allowing him Giving him praise and giving him no, no. Because even when it seems as if things are not working, many things are working. He can never leave you stranded. He said, Lo, I am with you, even to the end of age. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. But we don't believe it. But he's always with us. Otherwise, the devil will have rubbed our nose on the floor and hit us for a lunch. How could from nowhere be someone who could just finish a prayer in the morning and give me a missed call? I was in a hurry looking for her. Ah, and I said, Hello, son. I said, Yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. He said, When am I coming to Europe? Ah, my mouth began to shake and shiver. I said, I said, Euro. I said This July, you can come. He said, I'm not coming in July. Let me see my calendar. There is no time he's not busy. That's God remembering me. That's God remembering us. He see money he's looking for. He has more than enough money. If he needs money, he should just tell Joshua, Sema, all of them are his children. Sema, I'm coming to Abuja on Sunday. Sema will be rolling on the floor. Bishop is coming, or Jerry Ese, or any one of them, or Paul and Angel, say, I'm coming. Do you know how many millions will follow him? It will not be, it will not be less than 100 million. Yes! They have wicked money in that country. And they pamper pastors to real money. It's not like that. The Lord is our shepherd, all of us at the same time. <laughs> they pamper pastors with money. Just they know how much they will pay a wicked witch. And they know a little part of it, a little fraction of it, given to a pastor, God will do wonders. And he's, he said, I'm coming. And he was still announcing it on his altar. And I'm just looking, who am I? A lot of my friends have sent to me and say, God has put you on a big stage. I say, eh, are you, do you? He said, look at the way, the way Baba is taking you around. He said, God has put you on a big stage. You have access. You are now in the topmost top. I can show you my text. Message. I don't even show my wife because I, I have to believe them. I want to believe. <laughs> are you listening? I want to believe what they are saying. I want, I want to believe first before I show people because I'm, I'm but I'm, my faith, I'm trying to but that is what they could see. That's what they could perceive from some of the things that happened. Papa finished the first night. The first night of Holy Ghost Conference. I said, where's my son, Dr. David Richman? Where's my son? Come here, come here. He said, as he said it, I still stay where I was. <laughs> Forget this thing. Close this thing. I said, hey. after some time, I said, Dr. David Richman, come, 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 come. And he kept mentioning it. I said, where am I? I finished ministry and the Holy Ghost Convention. When I was leaving the place at age 26, around 1999, I didn't have a place to stay in Lagos. I didn't even have money to get to Lagos. Somebody took me in their car and on the way their car broke down. 
There's no way to get to Lagos. They now bothered the bus. They now say I should come in. And when I got to Lagos, I stayed with the person where the person rented for a few days. After the person left, one week, I didn't have a place. I carried my load on my back. And I was walking around Lagos. Then I met with a pastor. A pastor friend. I've not walked more than one kilometer. I met with a pastor friend. He said, ah, Pastor David, where are you coming from? I said, my friend that brought me to Lagos, I came to start a church in Lagos. My brother that brought me to Lagos has gone back to Ibadan. Where is he rented? He's finished. I don't know where to stay. He said, ah, <laughs> he said they gave me a little room in a caravan. There's a caravan. He said they gave me a little room, but I don't need it because I stay somewhere else. Can you stay there? That is how breakthrough started. But that was the time God gave me a revelation that you will go in that revelation 1999. You will go to only come God's conversion and preach. I saw it in a revelation. There are many plans for the next 10 years. There are many plans for the next 20 years. Over your life. That God is working on. That's the reason sometimes when God is making your character to align. He's telling you take this off. Because he knows that where you are going, certain character default, you cannot take them there. Some of us are silly. Forgive me. God is dealing with a thing. You are adamant on it. He knows where he's taking you to. You are adamant on somebody who does not greet you well, who does not talk to you well. When God knows he's taking you to the midst of hundreds of thousands of people, you will have not less than 1,000 people giving you gift every day. You will not even know somebody does not greet you. And you are dying over somebody who does not greet you, who does not look at you well. Today, you have a bigger destiny. Let me look at somebody and tell them, you have a bigger destiny. David wanted to go and kill the husband of Abigail. And Abigail said, you, my Lord will become a king. It must not be mentioned on you that you committed this, a crime like this. Say, Let God judge the matter. Is his name not rightly called Naba? Because foolishness dwells in his heart. The following day, God killed the man by himself without David, you know, laying a finger or stretching a hand. He will have been in a second that he killed an innocent person because he refused to give you food. So many of you that are things you should not do because of where you are going. God already sees it. He hides it from the devil. He hides it from you. But he's walking. That's the reason why we must give him praise. All the time. And give him honor. Sometimes. My daughter had a revelation over the night. And I call out my wife to the office and I say, This revelation shows that you are very unique. You are very important. Carry yourself as such. Prosecute it as such. It's a pointer to your, that your destiny is highly unique. I say all of us that are around you must treat you that way. You yourself must treat yourself that way. You have a very unique destiny. Something very serious is going to happen with her. That's the way to think. Praise wait for you, oh God in Zion. Unto you, our, oh, okay, oh, up, 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 uh, before this first, maybe for seven or so, or for six. Come on, quickly give me. He said, Be thou and, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into your closet. Don't, the closet means don't brag about prayer power. Some people brag about prayer power. It's not the noise in prayer that get prayer answered. Some people are speaking from, from the inner recesses of their heart like Anna. You can't even hear their audible words. And their prayers are answered. It's not, I, go I, go I like it. Because sometimes when the spirit comes upon me and I'm able to do that, I feel so good. Like, ah. I know I'm cruising. I just want life to stay like that. Curia. Libra. Like when, when Ebuwa was leading us on, on Friday, I, I, I got it. I just sat down there. I got it to another lady over here. I was not even looking at time. Me, I wanted to finish 9.30 before, but this gear, Koriba, even himself did not know what happened, what came upon him as, as he got on the stage. I said, God, let us sleep in this realm that I am. Let life be like this for all of my life. I don't even want any other life anymore. But because any other life, I don't know what can happen to me. Last suffering all. You're not using strength to prosecute anything. But you see, don't show off. If it's happening, let it happen. Don't show off. And don't ever take any credit for it. Go into the closet. 
Say, go into the closet and pray our father, which is in secret. And pray to our father, and your father, which is in secret, shall reward you openly. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. After this man, our father, which has in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We give him praise. We give him honor because he's doing many things at the back. Today, our own, our own water in our own house is not the one you just get into the bathroom. It's not the one you just get into the bathroom. And as you get into the bathroom, you just start bathing. I know some of the houses they are building, and that's the way they are. We, we have to switch on our home for about two hours. They built the house for a long time. And we thank God for the house because it was in direct answer to a prayer. <laughs> I would have been in cope. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> God, for, God forbid. Are you listening to what I'm saying? And then, and then, and then, every night I watch over my family, my wife, my daughter, and my boys to make sure I switch on the water from around four so that we'll be able to be here around six. If it is on Sunday, even if I live here around one, sometimes my wife wakes up also, but I can't depend on my wife because my wife is a heavy student. My wife can study. I think this morning you still sent me something around four. You started sleeping after four, isn't it? Around four, you sent me something, the draft of something. She studies. And as soon as she finished studies, she can just roll herself into under the duvet. So I cannot put my system around her to help me with that. So I went to... Today, I got to where I wanted to own the water around 6 a.m. I see that the water is on on its own. I, told, I said my wife has owned the water. Oh... Then in the morning, I asked my wife, I said, when did you want the water? I said, around 4 a.m. or whatever. He said, no, I didn't want the water. Then I said, maybe he could want the water. We asked her also. She said, he didn't want the water. And I know I didn't want the water. And today, water is the hottest. Before, after two people bath, it's become cold. My wife was the last person to bath, and the water was super hot. Still hot till we are talking right now. And you think God is not working. It's God that switched on the water because I told myself I woke up around five something and I started praying. I started commanding. God said, command people to come to the church. So I prayed that one for almost one hour. Then I began to study my Bible. And I said, okay, let me go and switch on the water now because I didn't switch it on that time. I got there. It's already blue. I said, my wife did this thing. God is working. I said, God is working. I know somebody might not believe me. Me, I believe me. <laughs> Are you listening to us? We give him praise and give him honor. We give him praise. Give him praise for what he has done, for what he's doing, for what he will do. And do it intentionally. It's the same way to relate with people also. Before we say, hey, these people in the church, hey, let us come and give money. You don't know how to give money. If you don't know how to praise people for what they have done, nobody will give nothing. 